much for joining us tonight for this Thursday edition of Weather Underground. I'm Mike Bettis. And I'm Alex Wilson. Hurricane Maria continuing to leave a path of destruction in the Caribbean, now setting its sights on the Turks and Caicos. I would think that saving life, protecting property, and valuing these people's standard of living would be it would be priorities. Paul, I totally agree with you here. Dr. Navarro with us as well. You've got to think. You have relatives that live here, Dr. Navarro. Uh, yeah. You're worried about You haven't been able to contact them. No, we haven't had any contact with any of my family members that are on the island, so I absolutely agree. Three to six months without power yes. is absolutely ludicrous. Um, and to think, you know, if it's, it's, is it replacing transmission lines, power poles, do they have all those things available to them on Puerto Rico, or is all that going to have to be shipped in? I mean, it's, it's just a very long wait, unfortunately, for a lot of people. It is, and this is a very rare event. Puerto Rico got slammed by this storm, and it's rare. We've only had seven major landfalls on Puerto Rico going back to our record keeping. That's back in the 1850s, so a direct hit is not an everyday right. occurrence. So this is what happened with Maria. 155 mile per hour winds there on uh, the landfall. It was on the southeastern part of the island, and this was bad, Mike, because yeah. what happened, notice, we had a concentric eyewall here off the the shore. There's the inner eyewall right here, that circular ring starting to form around it. So this system was going through some internal changes. Now, it didn't complete that cycle when it came to it, but watch what happens. That inner eyewall basically kind of wobbles around a little bit. That whole wind field was expanded because right. of that process. So we likely had stronger bands and winds moving on shore just as that storm was coming on. And no part of this island was untouched by and strong then, and winds. And the rain was absolutely horrendous. And just now ending today in some places. Yeah. Yeah, we're so. maybe even 40 inches total when this event is over in some places, which is insane. Really astounding to see some of the rivers that have come up. Dr. Navarro, thank you very much. So what's next for Mar More about Tropical Storm Jose, a long-lasting and not moving storm. <laughs> this storm just doesn't want to go anywhere. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and unfortunately, welcome back into Weather Underground. I want to give you the very latest on Hurricane Maria. Category 3 storm with winds 120 miles per hour. Up next, Grand Turk, uh, right here as it uh, skirts along the Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, not going to look at necessarily a direct hit, but we still think significant impacts thanks to that northerly flow. Uh, we could see serious storm surge issues, 9-plus feet in spot spots there in the Turks and Caicos. Then we look at that forecast cone down the line. We think this will stay offshore, but similar to Jose and its beach impacts, we could see more problems from Hurricane Maria along those East Coast beaches. All right. We've got to talk about the, you know, the elephant in the room, which has been Jose. We're all like, it's still hanging out over there. It just doesn't know when to leave the party. Why is this hurricane stuck essentially <laughs> well it's you know the hurricanes are steered by their surrounding major weather systems and we've had a lot of these high latitude ridges dr navarro yeah. jose and harvey contending with similar types of weather systems yeah. to their north yeah absolutely both of them are similar in the same way that they are in a weak steering pattern they're kind of stuck in between the things that would usually move them out so let's go back to harvey if you remember that was the major hurricane that made landfall here on the southeast coast of texas now there was a high pressure off here to the west which was just far enough that harvey was not feeling that pull there wasn't a lot of influence here from that system and then we had another weak steering pattern which was way off in the northeast so Harvey was just able to sit and spin for days because there was nothing here to give it a push and kick it out that we so desperately needed and it drops almost 50 inches of rainfall in some areas yeah now Jose has been doing a lot of sitting and spinning too it did that between Bermuda and Puerto Rico fortunately over water and it's been doing a lot of sitting and spinning off the northeast coast for the most part fortunately over water although we've been having persistent bad weather in southeastern new england but the reason jose has been sitting and spinning right in here is that we've got high latitude ridging over eastern canada and the northeastern u.s and that's persistent it's not moving out of here and that's been caught between the high pressure to its north and a high pressure area south of bermuda and that is what is steering maria in this direction and jose is just stuck there until the pattern changes so now you were now we're thinking okay maria is going to persistently move between this high and some low pressure over the southeast u.s is it going to just get in where Jose is and then also suffer the same fate of being stuck? 
But there might be some changes on the way. Yeah, a taste of fall. We're, yeah, I was going to say, we're moving into fall now, and that means we have changes in the jet stream. That's a good thing when it comes to moving hurricanes out of the way because it looks like we might have a trough moving in that's really going to kick things off the coast, which would certainly be what we want to see. So maybe this is ending. These ridges, these uh, uh, impacts here are going to be weakening over the next couple of days. That would certainly be good for people who are suffering right now on the East Coast. Yeah, they've got one linger. The last thing on Earth they want is another. to spin out. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, Jose's never going to leave. It's just